College kids are on the move and it's not to their next class. This video is from this past weekend. The man who recorded it says all the noise woke up him and his wife and it gets worse. Beer cans and alcohol bottles were left behind and his landscaping was torn up. He says this is a common occurrence and he wants police to step up for their patrols. So we went out to that neighborhood to check on this problem. This is what a weekend night in North Fargo near NDSU looks like during the school year. College kids heading off for a night of partying. But the man who recorded this video says what you can't see is there are guys yelling and cussing right outside his bedroom window, resulting in a fight. In this video, you see a herd of college kids heading to an unknown destination, keg in hand, trampling the yard and leaving behind cigarettes and beer cans. People we talk to who live in this area say they take it in stride. I guess if you know the area, you know what you're getting yourself into. If not, it would kind of be a shocker because there is a lot of noise. Summers are nice and quiet because everybody's gone, but... When school starts back up, you definitely know. Yeah, you definitely know. <laughs> Lindsay Walters can see NDSU's campus from her front yard. She says no one wants to open their front door and see beer cans, but that only a handful of the students are actually being jerks and leaving behind their garbage. As long as they're not destroying the place and not being too dangerous, I'm okay with it. However, I'm not going to be putting up decorations because I have a feeling they'll end up down the block. <laughs> that's, that's my main thing, so. Jerry Dell also lives close to NDSU and feels about the same way as Lindsay. You know, I could be a cranky old guy and go, you kids get out of here, I'm calling the cops, but nah. You were all young once. Oh, I've been there, done that, so, you know, you know, it's something that, I learn, and then they'll learn it too, you know. Jerry says he wants them to have their fun now because one of these days they're going to be in the real world. They'll grow up, get into a lifestyle, have kids. They'll be doing the same thing. Those dang kids. <laughs> They're causing trouble. I don't mind. It's fun to see them having fun, but I'm like, oh, I just really want to join in, <laughs> you know. Police tell us they do extra patrols in that area, especially during the school year. And no matter what college you live near, if students become a problem, don't hesitate to call the police. And parents, you can talk to your kids who go to college about the importance of being a good community member in the neighborhood where they live.